Good morning, traders. Welcome to the uh, Asian preview, North American Wrap Privateer FX. We talked about the Kiwi chart yesterday. Tweeted about that. You can see what the high was today. Little head fake up here at uh, got up to 26, and that failed. It's still closed, you know, pretty close to this level. But again, we're looking for closing prices for further further continuation higher. Uh, up to this 6860 area but uh, the dollar index kind of clawed its way back you can see here we um, just closing up as I'm uh, recording but uh, you know, we pretty much had a uh, close to a doji type close I, I am we have taken profits on our short dollar positions for the time being um, <clears throat> some of the other indicators we're looking at are calling for a, a high to be made in the euro uh, in your trading day, which is uh, now Wednesday. Uh, we were hoping for one push up here to this 115.50 um, area, this uh, this 100-day moving average and these old highs. Might still get it in this session, but I, I'm looking to take some take some profits um, on the uh, the dollar short trade and. Maybe go back into the range. It was, you know, a pretty good one-week run. We saw some dollar strength in the emerging market space, as you can see here. Dollar Turkey. There's just never any good news out of that. Uh, there was a there was a headline <clears throat> earlier today during the New York session about um, Europe stepping in and helping Turkey, and they uh, they bought Turkish lira briefly, and then it spent the rest of the day. Selling off dollar max, you know, back above 1900. Uh, after the NAFTA news yesterday, we put in this low here at uh, 1865. This is the really important level down here, 1840, that we've highlighted. Big update today. Uh, so you're starting to see some more dollar strength against the emerging markets. Uh, dollar Brazil, in particular, it's up a percent and a half. A new high daily close, actually, for this whole move. We were on the bid down around four and uh, didn't get it. Um, dollar yen didn't do anything today. Volume was just be getting destroyed there. VIX was up a little bit. Stocks were uh, relatively quiet. Uh, got our macro page here. Um, you can see here on the in the S and P futures we have a. Uh, closed on change today. This is a little concerning for the for the bulls. Amazon. Um, let's pull that Amazon chart up. And take a look at this. <clears throat> let's see if I can make this a little bit more so you can see it better. Gapped open today, made a new all-time high, closed lower. We also have a uh, technical timing signal that we look at, which is not here on TradingView, but we use it in a, another charting platform, which is calling for a top over the next few days. I'm watching this price action very, very closely. Um, Amazon's the most important stock in the world. I'm sure you've heard that before. Uh, if we go to the NASDAQ index, the uh, the futures, that closed positive on the day. Um, let's look at the cash index. Negative in the cash index. SPX. We're getting signals to sell stocks, kind of, at least in the U.S. NASDAQ, S&P, Dow. Um, so we're very cautious at this point, and I'm certainly not going to be buying high ones. Um, what else are we looking at here? If we could pop back over to the currencies page. Um, Dollar Canada has caught our attention. It had a nice bounce here. Let me clean this chart up. Had a nice little bounce off these lows down just below 129. Uh, we got the 200-day moving average down at 128.43. Um, starting to think that 
maybe the timeline for any NAFTA negotiations between the U.S. and Canada, <clears throat> are they really going to get anything done by Friday? Probably not, unless Canada completely capitulates, which we highly doubt. So we kind of like topside dollar Canada. And again, our overall dollar bearish view, we've closed out some of these dollar shorts today. We're just, you know, when you start seeing uh, the dollar EMs rally, dollar Canada with a nice bounce, um, Euro unfortunately did not get up to our sell level. British pound relatively uh, weaker than a lot of the other currencies against the dollar today. A little reversal lower day. So we're, you know, we're, we're definitely, uh, I'm not outright buying dollars, but uh, in fact, I'm still short some dollar Swiss. It's the only one I haven't squared up. We did breach the 200 day down here at 54. 50, uh, 97.50, closed back above it. Uh, I've taken some profit on that. And, you know, using this area here, this 97.90, 97.88, 97.90 as a pivot, uh, bull bear pivot. Um, so caution, you know, we're coming into Wednesday. For you in Asia, you're in Wednesday. Freelance is Canada meeting with Mexican officials today. Freelance says we'll have more specific conversations tomorrow. <clears throat> Headline below that, Brazil president authorizes deployment of military in the Roraima state. Can't be good for the Brazilian real. Uh, we're going to start commenting, we're going to start following a, a space, the, the, the medical marijuana, the, uh, the recreational marijuana space. Um, let me get over to my stock page. Um, kind of how we were doing, uh, we were involved in, uh, we were involved in uh, the crypto space and we still are, although that has lost a lot of interest. A lot of people aren't trading it because it's 80% off the highs. But if we take a look here, here's a stock that trades on the NASDAQ. Uh, it's a um, Canadian uh, marijuana cultivation processor distribution dispensary um you know canada october 17th canada is going uh, legal recreation use of marijuana these stocks are bubbly these stocks are volatile as shit we are invested in some of these stocks um and i will do a uh, uh, a video probably a longer form video and show you the names that we're looking at. We're following this very closely. We're involved in some early stage investments with uh, both Canadian and US, um, med more on the medical marijuana side of the business. Um, but slowly but surely, uh, the US, you know, each states are voting in these midterms on going from uh, medical marijuana to recreation and it's a, a potentially a massive business you've seen news about constellation brands buying a chunk of canopy growth in canada and diageo another massive beverage uh, maker and distributor looking at uh, some other canadian uh, players in this space so i will uh, i will try to get that out this week send you a few uh a few Twitter handles you should be following and it's an interesting space without a doubt. And we're big believers in the medical benefits of, uh, of both CBD and, uh, and THC. And, uh, some of that is because there's some, in my case, it's, uh, we got a family member dealing with a serious illness and we're looking for other ways to help treat him, help ease the pain and uh, I've spent the last couple of years researching the space and I'll report back to you when we have more information on how he's how he is uh, progressing but um, it's definitely uh, it's a it's a bubble bubbly market it seems kind of like the 2016 17 cryptos but at the end of the day there are real health benefits we're big believers in this and we will uh, alert you to some of the names that you should be investing in and, and trading. Um, 
I'll leave it at that. Good luck trading, and we'll speak down the European Open. All the best. Cheers. Oh, by the way, I pulled the stock up Tilray. It's up. Uh, it's up quite a bit. They had uh, they had some uh, good earnings today. Um, I'm just reading a headline here. They had a small revenue beat. It's up a couple percent. And uh, there's a couple others that are doing quite well. GTI uh, is another one. GTI I Canada. Let's see if it shows up. And I don't think this is the right one. No, that's not it. I'll have to find it on TradingView. Um, I have it on my Bloomberg. Anyhow, good luck trading. We will speak to you on the European Open. Cheers. Bye.